This past week, USF TV's Natalie Zanni sat down with girls head coach Mark Carr to discuss the challenges the young team will face during the season and playing in the WCC, one of the nation's top conferences. Hi, I'm here with head coach Mark Carr. And um, coach, what is it that you particularly like about coaching at USF? Um, I mean, I've been here at San Francisco now for about a year and a half. and. Um, you know, I think the thing about the city of San Francisco, I think soccer is a kind of a huge part of it, like in terms of culture. And I think just, you know, playing in a, in a soccer city and, uh, you know, I think that the school is a great place as well. I think there's so much going on and, uh, you know, I think you, you get you get everything. You get, you know, you get the athletic feel with soccer and you get the city, you get you got the beach nearby, the mountains. So I think, you know, it provides a, a good kind of all-round, uh, you know, experience for the athletes, you know. All right. And um, how do you feel your team will do in the conference this season? Um, I mean, obviously, we're, we're a young team, and I think the, the West Coast Conference is probably the one of the top three conferences in the nation. So every game is going to be a close game. And, you know, I'm just trying to take every game, game by game. And I think we, we played last weekend. We lost at St. Mary's. But I think, you know, on any given day, I think, um, you know, we can, beat, we can beat any of the other teams in the conference, you know. So I think it's, it definitely, it's definitely going to be challenging. It's not going to be easy. But, um, you know, hopefully... Uh, you know, we show up and we get some, some results against some of these good teams. And what does your team need to improve on? Um, what I would say is, you know, we're a very young team. I brought in a full-team freshman and we're kind of underclassmen heavy, if you like. And, um, you know, what, what I would say that the biggest thing we need to improve on is just kind of consistency in our performance. Like, you know, we've played one game you know, two games in a weekend, and we've played one. We played well on a on a Friday, and not so good on a Sunday. Um, you know, and I think w at this level, you've got to be able to be consistent with your performance. And when you play, you've got to put 90 minutes together. You know, and and that 90 minutes, it's got to be excellent. You know, it can't be, you know, 80 minutes excellent and 10 minutes, um, you know, poor because at this level, you you get punished. And is there anything you do to motivate your players? Um. Well, I think if you're playing at this level, I think a lot of the motivation should come from the person, from, you know, intrinsically, you know, and I think we have a group of kids that are intrinsically motivated. Um, you know, sure, day to day, I think my coaching and my staff, um, we try and, you know, motivate the kids, say, you know, well done, give them praise. Um, you know, we do a lot of individual meetings and stuff and say kind of, you know, see where they're at and, uh, you know, psychologically where they're at and, you uh, you know, I think it's, but 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 I demand that the motivation comes from with them because if you're not um, intrinsically motivated at this level, then you, you shouldn't be playing here. You know. And what qualities do you uh, look for in an athlete? Well, I mean, there's four things that I kind of look at. I mean, the, the biggest thing is um, obviously athleticism is something you know that's that's very important at our level. You know, your, your ability to to run you know, for long periods of time, for short distances, aerobically, anaerobically, your ability to change direction. I think athleticism to run and jump, that is one of the most kind of core things. Um, and then the other thing that I would say the most important thing is just kind of mentality, you know, like competitiveness, ability to want to win and want to compete and desire and kind of passion for the game. And I think that's, that's something that, um, you know, that comes from the athlete. You tie that in with motivation. I think that's something that comes from within. And then our job as coaches is is really the technical part and the tactical part. You know, teaching them the game, improving their technique. You know, giving them you know the right information of what to do, make the right decisions in the right areas of the field. You know, so um, that's you know, it's it's their their part is the kind of athleticism and the uh, the mentality, and then it's our part to to kind of teach them the game. And what are the main locations you go to to scout for new players? Well, I think being at somewhere like San Francisco, I think it's nationally you don't you, you can recruit nationally, but also I think San Francisco is such a a name internationally that we're you know we're starting now to really kind of look internationally and see if we can find those those kids those special kids um, that can help us. I think in terms of tournaments, we go to you know the, we go all the big tournaments down in San Diego. Um, there's one in Houston. There's one in Vegas. Um, there's the NorCal um, State Cup, the Southern California State Cup. Typically, California has the best players you know right in our backyard. So we try and you know we look at the local kids as well, see if we can get some kids locally. Um, but I think. You know, internationally, nationally, and, and locally, we look everywhere for the, the players. Bottom line is if, if you're one of those players that can help us, if you're kind of the, the you know, the, uh, the slam dunk, then we're, we're going. If you live in, you know, if you live on overseas, we're trying to get you. And um, how are your new players settling in this year? 
Good. I mean, I think I've been very happy with them. Right now, we're five, seven, and two. Um, I think a, a much of an improvement on last year. Um, we're a young team, and our, and our new kids, I think they've been fantastic right from the start. Um, you know, it, it's a lot to ask a freshman to come in and, and step up right away. But you know, this times this year, we've had seven or eight freshmen on the field, and you know, they've played two games in a weekend, and they have to train every day. And I think you know, it's 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 been a process them getting to where um, they're at. But I think. Um, you know, I think they've done a tremendous job, and I think, um, you know, I think the the kind of the future looks bright, if you like. And what is your coaching philosophy? Well, I think it, there's lots of different things that kind of come into philosophy. I think, you know, the things that I want from the kids is I want them to compete, I want them to improve, you know, from day to day, week to week, month to month. Um, <clears throat> but also, I want to uh, I want them to have fun. I want them to enjoy the experience. And I think, you know, we have we as coaches have to kind of balance it up, and you know. At the end of the day, it's like we have to win and compete, and but also you know you've got to put that fun element in there. So we try and, and mix it up and, and do our best to um, you know to give give them both things, you know. But it's it's yeah it's there's there's a lot of things. I you know I want to win. I'm competitive, but I also understand that you know it's balance is important as well. Which players do you usually turn to if your team faces challenges, and why them? <clears throat> well, I think for us as a, as a group, I you know I think. You know, I think collectively, I would say, you know, I wouldn't go to anyone individually. I think for us to, to when we're challenged and we're up against it, like we play San Diego this weekend, it's not going to take like one or two players to step up. It's going to take all 11 on the field and, you know, it's going to take the seven players that are on the bench. And I think I've kind of harped on it all year that, you know, the kids, it's going to take all 26. It's going to take everyone, you know, and I think we're not in a position where we have got two or three players that can just change a game. I think it's got to be a gritty kind of workmanlike um, performance and everybody, everybody's got to step up and, uh, you know, when they're required to do so, you know, so it's going to take, it takes everyone. What is a usual workout that you would give your players? Oh, okay. Um, usual workout. I mean, typically we train... You know, we train Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We play games Friday on Sunday. Saturday's a light day, um, but you know, a typical training session like today it was, uh, you know, on a Wednesday before a Friday game. It's a lot of tactical stuff. It's, uh, you know, we played 11 v 11 in how kind of, um, you know, kind of creating how we're going to play Friday night, kind of addressing the opponent, um, how we're going to defend, you know, how we're going to attack, what areas of the field we're going to defend, um, what areas of the field are we going to try and exploit them. Um, you know, and, and that that was today. I mean, earlier on in the week, it's probably a lot more fitness. It's a lot one v one defending. It's a lot, a lot, a lot more playing. You know, letting them play. But as we get closer to the game, it's um, you know we kind of hone in, and it's more about the game and the opponent and how we're going to be, how we can be successful by, by you know getting in behind them, and also but how we're going to be successful defending them. San Diego and Santa Clara are coming up, so two competitive games. Yep. What are the results you expect? Well, you know, I, I said this to them to the group at the start of the year. I mean, I think there's nobody on our schedule that I that I'm scared about, you know. And I think we have to go into this games, you know, San Diego, number 15 team in the country, um, very good. They're very good at home. You know, they've been averaging 17 shots a game, and you know they're going to get those 17 shots against us. But what I said to our group is, if we can limit their very good opportunities, then. Um, you know, I think we, we do our job. It's it's not it's not it's 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 us doing our job and not letting ourselves get beat. You know, and I think um, you know who knows. We're, we're we've got a plan. We're organised and we're ready to play San Diego. Um, they're a very good team, but I think we it needs to be about us. You know, and I think Santa Clara on Sunday. I think they're you know they're having a not so good season. I think on Santa Clara standards, but I think they're uh, they're a very good team. They're a very good soccer team, and I think you know our tactics will be a little bit different. I think they're a team that we can get at a little bit more than San Diego. So so, uh, you know, I'm excited. I mean, we haven't, we haven't won a game in conference, and I'm looking forward to our kids um, and our staff stepping up to the challenge this weekend against those guys. Thank you very much, Coach, and good luck with the rest of the conference. Thanks a lot.